Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will see the impact of election results and how the stock market is going to behave with this uh, BJP and NDA coalition. So the markets plummeted a lot on the 4th of June and it automatically catched up in the 4th, the 5th and the 6th. So in this video, we will see the sectors that could benefit with this coalition. So I would say the sectors that could benefit would be your solar industry and it could be your FMCG industry and it could be your defense as well followed by uh, travel industry as well and other sectors that would be like really uh, famous would be your uh, uh, the government is like trying to uh, involve in uh, the hydrogen cell cars those kind of industries are also going to be benefited in this and uh, there are other industries as well which are going to be benefited in this so the first industry that is going to be like uh, taking up the benefit or taking advantage of this coalition government is going to be your solar power so that was like really famous in your uh, modi government itself and this uh, experts predict that uh, the power will be both traditional and renewable so this will be a focal point for the economic growth of the nation and it will be like um, helpful for sectors like evs and uh, railways and data centers or be it like ai so the government is also uh, uh, emphasizing on the solar rooftops as well. So the Pradhan Mantri uh, Kusum Yojana which indicates about the uh, potential growth in your solar energy. So this plays a very vital role. So uh, stocks on this kind of industries, uh, I still repeat again, this is not a stock recommendation video. So do your due diligence. I'm just trying to give you a rough idea about what kind of uh, um, companies would be able to flourish in this market the stocks i would advise or like uh, which would be in my radar would be uh, power grid or it could be ntpc ongc adani green suzlon energy coal india reliance so all these would be like some of the potential gainers in this uh, solar power industries then uh, it could be uh, the next industry which i would uh, have it in mind would be is like semiconductors so semiconductors and electronics play a very vital role in india the government is like planning up to set up its own semiconductor facility and it's getting a lot of traction in the government initiative programs so the government's uh, pli uh, the production linked incentive scheme as well as your uh, design link incentive scheme the government is like giving up a lot of uh, rebates on all of these so this is uh, aiming to bolster a lot of uh, domestic manufacturing and design capabilities all of us would be knowing about uh, nvida the company which is like uh, becoming the newest trillion dollar company in your us stock market so this is like gained up in the last two years the company has grown up about a hundred percent so this is like uh, adding up a lot of potential that is there in the long term in India, in the Indian stock market, I would say. So this is becoming like, as like NVA has like shown up a great uh, progress in the last two years, it surpassed in fact Apple and it is almost on their levels. This uh, semiconductor industry is again going to be a huge boom here and uh, the companies that may try gain attention would be your Tata Power and CG Power, HCL Technology. So all of these companies will be like drawing a, a lot of attention from the users. Then the next industry which I would be like gaining up the lot of uh, attention would be is your agricultural industry I would say. So agricultural industries will be like more of uh, uh, into irrigation or harvesting units and like taking care of all your agriculture products and stuff. So all of this will be definitely facilitating towards your uh, FMCG company. So FMCG is going to be a big thing happening here. So in FMCG tracker is also going to be uh, benefited from this. So companies like HUL, Dauber, Marico Industries, Nestle and ITC are definitely going to be like a, a huge hit in this uh, new coalition government. So these would be the companies which would be benefited because of all of these uh, new comings in the uh, um, after these uh, election results. Then the defense industry is again remaining the same. There's not going to be like uh, any shortfall on that happening. So this is experiencing a lot of uh, increased funding from the governments. The budgets will be definitely there to give us the exact values of it. So the surge in the investment is reflecting the companies or the country's uh, defense capabilities and uh, their strengthening of their uh, uh, defense manufacturing systems as well. Also, the government has uh, also um, set up your Make in India campaign. So these campaigns uh, brings in a lot of uh, support to all the uh, local equipment manufacturers. So the companies that would be like um, greatly taking advantage of these would be your HAL and um, BDL, then BHEL, Bharat Forge, Cochin Shipyard, Mazagon Dog. So these kind of companies would be a lot of uh, uh, benefited from this uh, defense uh, sector as well. Then as I said earlier in the part of the video where we've got this hydrogen cell technology, the government is like still uh, into ideas or like building up this concept of hydrogen cell cars or hydrogen powered cars. So hydrogen cell is powering up your vehicles and the government is like very keen on uh, uh, increasing up this uh, space again. So under the government's uh, national hydrogen 
hydrogen emission mission. The government is, aims to establish almost about a global leader in uh, hydrogen economy through R&D. And they are planning to deploy hydrogen fuel cells for uh, various applications including your transport and stuff. So the government has also uh, um, like initiated up like they are providing up schemes like FAME. There's one famous scheme. So this uh, provides up incentives for hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. So the government is like manufacturing investors to invest in these kind of technologies as well. So this sector is again going to be a huge hit. So the green hydrogen revolution is expected to boost the uh, producer profits and enhance valuations in the company's operating space. So as of now, there are no uh, big companies or like big players in this. But if at all this thing track gains up traction or if this thing becomes a hit, then definitely Reliance and LNT are going to be a big players in this segment. So that is something which you can like try accumulating them in your dips and stuff. And the next industry which would be like gaining up traction, I would say is your travel industry. So tourism and travel is definitely going to be a huge hit and the government is like boosting up tourism. And you could have also uh, recently seen a lot of uh, um, like um, the uh, Twitter post from um, Prime Minister Modi about uh, um, Lakshadweep and all the pristine islands of the Indian nation. So these are all like training up a lot of attraction from the users and the tourism industry is gaining up this and there are a lot of hospitality, hospitality services also which are like uh, getting up a lot of growth as well in this. So the stocks that could be benefited from this theme would be like uh, your hotel industry which would I would call like lemon tree and ITC. So they are going to be a big part of this and besides that uh, the Indian hotels company IHCL that's also again uh, something on my radar I would be like keeping track of that uh, as well and uh, companies like Rate Gain as well as BLS International these two are all again going to be like travel benefited uh, companies so that also again are going to be, be a big role or like going to be benefited from this uh, travel sector as well so these are the six sectors I would say like which are going to be benefited because of this uh, recent 2024 elections with the BJP and NDA forming your coalition government so these uh, sectors are definitely going to be a huge hit you can start accumulating um, stocks across these uh, domains and you'll be able to get like easier benefits or like growth in these sectors and if you like this video do share this with some of your friends who are like into a stock market investing and stuff and uh, do smack that like button as well for this video to get transferred to more people stay tuned until the next video i'll catch you up in the next one thank you